Can we end this, boys? We in this dorm. Let's see, we wanna see if there's anything, you know? Toilet paper. The uh, girls' bathroom. Let's look at that, just in case, you know. Draw. Cool. Okay. We don't need that. Peace. Action will have consequences. Now, why does that action have to have consequences? They won't even know it was me. Ha, here's my place. That's my bear. That's my guitar. Man, I am talented. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Let's see. Let's play some guitar. Okay, let's just get up because that's horrible, horrible song. Shouldn't have done it. Okay, let's uh, go back to what we were doing. What was I doing? Okay, let's go to messages. Okay. So, what we doing? Need to use that computer, maybe? I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Yep, this, this is a nice... Laugh. It's one. nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Okay, so uh, not a flash drive. Uh, desk. Right here. <sighs> Max and Chloe. Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? Oh, no. I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Where it. is this flash drive? That flash drive? Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Like what I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Okay. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Where you at, Dana? You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. How do we act? This is so stupid. Answer, you wuss. Mm. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. You I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What, what did she, she do, do, man? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? It's... Go oh, Olsen. That was my fourth Juliet. grade teacher. Ju Juliet Olsen. Oh, that was, that right. was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. It's Watson. Rewind. Hey, Juliet. Big two. Oh, Skip. yes, Max. Skip, you know. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Yeah, man, unbelievable. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. 
She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Who's Victoria again? That's Victoria. Okay. No need to go there now. Well. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Well, um, I don't know what to do now. Can I get through here? No. Towers not open. Let's see. Victoria's room. Go in here. See. Oh, no one heard that door close. We got some clothes. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Yeah, maybe. I mean, 3D printer, that's pretty cool, am I right? Hmm, could mess it up just to be mean. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Uh, that's gonna give me a consequence. Go back. Okay, let's not mess that up. Do you know someone would I'll give Victoria props for not posting my boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Okay, how do I print? Read. Back. Back. Print email. Take. Thank you. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Better not get caught, you know. Juliet, email. read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. On the desk, okay. Let's just uh, slide Almost in done. to... Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Wherever her desk is, right here, okay. Pick. Must protect um, my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Okay, let's wait. Is there another text? Oh man, mom. Happy birthday! Sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about Blackwell Honor Student. Is this true? Principal said this was a serious false charge and that he is worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP. Okay, man, I gotta call mom. How do I do that? Okay, whatever. We'll just leave and uh, go our merry way. Fuck this shit! Oh man. That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Let's get hurt. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Get lost, hit- Fuck this shit! Ow! Fuck 
this shit. Oh, man, right through me. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. Really, you're crying? Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. <laughs> Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Oh, well. So you say to rewind, but why rewind? <laughs> Nothing to rewind, Victoria. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends, okay. Let's go to the parking lot. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Should we take a photo? You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Same, bruh. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. Okay, let's go that back. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Let's get that. Let's go to intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey. Hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. I will remember this conversation. Mm -hmm. Oh, Max, it, it, it. that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime. Yeah, you're Kate. welcome, but now I'm gonna, you know, get arrested. I felt like an everyday hero help for, for security and stuff, you know. That's gonna go on me. I could have had a good photo though too. Stepped in that time. I don't can't care. stand to see people being hi, Juliet. To Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. I won't bother you then. I have to go see Warren before he melts. See you. Yeah, I'm sure we'll all be partying later with Zach and Victoria and the Vortex Club. Uh, yeah. Sure. See you around, Max. See ya, buddy. Let's go over to uh. Come on over here, please. Okay. What up, Max? Go How are over you? Here. Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Mm, yeah, thanks. Sure, yeah. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. 
Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal. Now. Answer me, bitch. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren! Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Same, bro. That drama. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Illuminati confirmed. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Hey, 
Okay, so what we doing here? Broken. Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Welcome home. Oh, man. Okay. This, uh, I'm not... Okay, we still got more. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home.